The agenda to possess the nations continues unabated. Where are all the tears in the church? When we arrived in this church, we saw that when people were preaching, others responded in tears. It is not the preaching that we do in our generation. Because they have come with an open heart. They long for nothing but the Holy Spirit and Christ. And their mind is on eternity. This is the reason for unleashing the church with the mandate of carrying the gospel to the ends of the year. The grace of God also requires something from us that we should deny ungodliness and worldly lust and then live soberly, righteously and godly in this present age. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Anytime the soul is not put in check and the soul aligns itself with the body to fight against the spirit, the person, even though will be a Christian, but will be a carnal Christian. Welcome to Pentecost Hour, a platform for teaching, training, and unleashing the church to fulfill her mandate as salt and light in the world. Pentecost Hour, God's timely word to our dying world. Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah, it's a at your own crown. I'll read from verse 8. Yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Do not let the prophets and diviners among you deceive you. Do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to have. Now, say as a fair day, Israel and Yanko Ponsi and ye. Mumma, my dear for our woman, Muno, and then comes a forno in Sissimo. Now, Muntia won't die our so sono. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. I have not sent them, declares the Lord. Now, at Romuna, what did me dee a salmon come? Men sumawon, a radiasemi. This is what the Lord says. Now, Sarah, this year, when seventy years are completed for Babylon. I will come to you and fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. Now, Sarah, this year, if you said your son, you drew a Babel, my Baba Beshemu, na ma 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 sempano abemu amamu. And then let's go back to verse eleven again. Uh, yes. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord: plans to prosper you and not to harm you; plans to give you hope and a future. Now, my dear. So what should they do? Let's go to verse 4. Shall we read together, those of you who can? This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says to all those I carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Yes. What? Build houses, settle down, plant gardens, and eat from what they produce. Build houses. Moses are dying. Building houses means that you should you are not going to build tents, but houses. And yan to my dying, they won't are dying and kasa. Because settle down. Or say Montsnasi. Montsnasi to live in Babylon. Monya Majin Samu Batsna Babylon. Settle down. Montsnasi. Plant. Munya. Now we plant gardens. Munya in true. Eat from what they will produce. Now munye muaba. Because you are not going to go anytime soon. Yes, I say Mubatsna Hat. The next verse. Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage so that they too may have sons and daughters. So they were going to live in Babylon to the extent that even their children are going to have sons and daughters. It will be in Babylon. Then he says that increase in number there. Do not decrease. Now I say, nori ewoho, emamo sonte. So God is saying that live your normal life. Get into the competition. Build. Plant. Increase. Don't decrease. Now, let me say that again. 
as we move into 2024. Don't you wait for any prophecy. Build. Plant. Eat. Increase. Don't decrease. This is the sure prophecy. Don't wait for some magic. Listen. This one. Wait. It's just like the parable in Luke chapter 19. From verse 12. Luke 19, 12. He said, A man of noble birth went to a distant country to have himself appointed king and then returned. Luke 19 from verse 12. A man of noble birth went to a distant country to have himself appointed king and then to return. So he called ten of his servants and gave them ten minutes. Then he said to them, What? Put this money to work. He said, until I come back. You see, Jesus will come back. But until he comes. Do business until he comes. Don't you wait for anything. 2024 is business as usual. Build houses. Those of you who are steady, steady. Try to be at the top. Plant. Eat from your fruit. Increase. Increase in Babylon. Increase on this planet earth. Do not decrease. Thou sayest the Lord. Because I have good plans for you. Plans to give you hope. And a future. I want you to plant. This is what the Lord is saying. Now don't look at the fact that you are in Babylon and you are in captivity. Don't look at the difficulties around you. You plant. And God will bless what you have planted. You start to build. And God will bless you to finish. Increase. Don't decrease. Because God has great plans for you. Plans to prosper you. And to give you a great future. Future. Hallelujah. Amen. If you look at the wind, you will not plant. But plant because God is with you. The second thing he wanted them to do was that they should seek the peace and prosperity of Babylon. Jeremiah 29, verse 7. Seek the peace and prosperity of Babylon. Also, seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it. Because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Now you are going to live in Babylon. Don't be cursing the king of Babylon. Because he has taken you hostage. And you are in captivity. Don't be cursing the book at Nazar. And don't be cursing Babylon. Pray for the peace of Babylon. Pray for Babylon's prosperity. Why? Because if Babylon prospers, because you are living in Babylon, you too will prosper. Don't let us curse Ghana. You are living in Ghana. 
Pray for the peace of Ghana. If Ghana enjoys peace, you also have peace. If Ghana prospers, you too will prosper. Don't curse Ghana because you are living in Ghana. If Ghana prospers, you also prosper. If Ghana has peace, you also have peace. You see, we are persons in community. And we are shaped in many ways by the environment we find ourselves. Corrupt social structures will make life difficult for all of us. So we cannot say that we don't care about Ghana. Because if Ghana prospers, we too will prosper. So as Christians, God has good plans for us. But your desire is not that you alone will prosper. But our prayer should be that Ghana should prosper. So that if Ghana prospers, we too you see brothers and sisters many years ago Dr. Kwame Nkrumah made this famous declaration at long last the battle has ended and Ghana your beloved country is free forever our situation now as a sovereign nation is like Israel back in Babylon you see mere independence from colonial rule does not solve our problems mere independence does not put food on our table we need to work together to seek the peace of this nation we need to work together to seek the prosperity of this nation. Because if this nation prospers, we too will prosper. See, God created us and blessed us and made us managers of this planet Earth. Now, and He made available for us all that we need for life and for godliness. Now, whether we enjoy God's, this provision that God has made or not, it depends on how we manage the resources he has given us. It depends on those of us who are human beings and we are managers of the resources God has given us. When we don't manage it well, we will lose it. You see, corruption is as a result of mismanagement arising from two problems. Number one, incompetency. Number two, greed. This is where corruption comes from. Incompetency. And greed. The result is poverty. Lack of development. Disease, Yare. premature deaths, hopelessness. All our young people are traveling away from our country. Unemployment, corruption is a social danger. Now, corruption facilitates environmental degradation. 
It destroys nations. It destroys the future. It undermines honesty. And hard work. It favors the privileged few. And you cannot say that you don't care. Let us pray for God to bless our nation Ghana and heal our corruption. See, brothers and sisters, corruption is a human activity. We need to move away from this that corrupt our country and rather pray that God will raise a new Ghanaian. God will raise a new Ghanaian. A people who will seek the peace and prosperity of the nation. You see, the key to a nation's development lies in the character of its people. But unfortunately, our leaders, our politicians have focused on roads. You, you watch this 2024 campaign. Campaign, I have been 2024. When we come, we'll fix this road. Oh, you better quite we'll fix this road. You better quite way. Economy. After you see, you see, economy is a result of the behavior of money. Say, you can't or mine seek a sem and I you check the said you back on Kaya if we said you seek a sem back on. Inflation and all these things are a result of how money's the movement of money. So inflation and our nyama ne bo aye den e kosru bebre no yin na if we say this kasem e di akoni aba. How many of us have seen money moving before? Ye mu do do say na who say sika e tu an amon pain. Wan na mu say sika ene nam. Wan na we share sika on ene nam. So when we talk about the movement of money, the people who cause the inflation, the people who cause the GDP and all that are human beings. It is the movement of people. So far as cash is concerned, that brings that kind of manifestation. Into your car inflation, any GDP, any sign your money now wants a man. And you said your nipper, a disika, a dituma, and a yes in Sanswa, I was sign your money now. So, when we want to have a good nation, into your pair on my pa. Don't let us first think about money. Let us think about where the money is. The pockets in which the money, the human being. Unless the human being changes, we cannot necessarily change the economy because the economy is being managed by human beings. And I'm praying that as we, as we unleash the whole church into the world, we will bring transformation in our spheres. So that because of us, things will be different. The economy will be different. Now, when we talk about building roads, and you give the contract to somebody who is corrupt. Instead of two layers, you will just make a layer. And within a year or two, that road is bought. Who is causing the problem? It is the Ghanaian. So my prayer is that we need to have a new Ghanaian. A new Ghanaian who will love the peace of Ghana. A new Ghanaian who will love the prosperity of our nation. Are we together? And I'm talking about you. That you will change. When you change your ways. 
God will also change our, our nation. So we are praying for a new Ghanaian. As we move into 20, vision 2028, we are going to unleash the whole church to bring transformation to our land. Let us affect our spheres. And let us produce a new Ghanaian. Who will not love him or herself? But who will seek the development of the land? Are we together? Now the year 2024 is going to be an election year. In 2020, 2020, we lost eight people to elections. Eight people died officially for us to have a parliamentarian or a president. This should not be repeated in any way in 2024. People shouldn't die in mere elections. I pray that this will not happen in 2024. A lot of Ghanaians were injured because of election. I pray that this will not happen. May we seek the peace of Ghana in the midst of our election in 2024. See brothers and sisters, no matter who you are, your vote is one. Even the president of the republic has one vote. Be content with that one. And when you vote, go back home. When it is time for us to count, and you have space to be around, go and do that peacefully. I pray that no blood will be shed in 2024. And may the Lord God Almighty, the God of this nation, grant us a leader and a president after his own heart. May he grant us parliamentarians who will love this nation more than themselves to lead our constituents so that we have a prosperous nation moving on so now I want to recap what I have said. Let us not dwell on those who are prophesying for us. God has plans for every one of us. Let us have confidence in the plans that God has for you. Plans to prosper you and to give you a future. So believe and trust in that plan. And because of that, move confidently in 2024. Build. Plant. Marry. Increase. Don't decrease. If you are going to school, move on. Try to be at the very top. Because God has a great plan for you. To prosper your future. And now into our nation. We want to seek the prosperity of Ghana. That God will prosper us. And give us hope. And a future. God bless us all.